And welcome to episode 27 of Two Idiots Reading Comics. Uh, this week we're going to be reading Daredevil, Man With No Fear. Um, while you're here, go ahead and subscribe, like, follow, everything. Dude, we got a Facebook page now. Um, I don't know. This is January. I made it back in November. I'm going to go follow that. Um, Twitter, Instagram is Two Idiots RC. YouTube, Facebook is Two Idiots Reading Comics. Go like, subscribe, uh, share, subscribe, all of that. Um, and then obviously the podcast, wherever you're listening to that, go ahead and follow that and, uh, give us some five star reviews. Those really help. But, uh, thank you for watching and let's get into the show. And welcome in. First episode of the year, Davis. Heck yeah, man. Uh, 2021. Yeah. Uh, glad we're here. Glad we made it through 2020. Yeah. And whatever shit show it was. Well, let's not pretend like the that magical one. Oh, no, it is, man. You, you've got to imagine. You've just got to will it into being, man. There's At midnight of 2020 to 2021, it just disappeared. It's over. Still dumb people in charge of everything. And well, that ain't ever going to go away, so... Yeah. So I escape into my world of imaginary <laughs> superheroes and people. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you want to escape with us, come join us. Yeah. Glad you're here. <laughs> well, they're already here. So well, they're they already wanna. here, so, uh, so bring everybody else with you. Yeah, invite people. But um, but yeah, this week, uh, Daredevil, Man Without Fear, yeah. as you politely pointed out to me after I did the intro. Well, yeah, so I'm going to leave that in there. Let him have some fun with that. Okay. Um, you want to do the room? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so like we said, uh, so this is an actual, uh, this is a comic book that was back in 1988. Dude, you read some of these names and these are like. These are heavy hitters. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we start off with the writer, Frank Miller. Yeah. I mean, uh, then your penciler, John Romita Jr., yep. uh, anchor Al Williamson, colorist Christy Scheel, letterer Joe Rosen, editor Ralph Macchio, mm -hmm. cover artist John Romita Jr., and cover colors. Rain Burrito. Berido. Berido. He Berido. has been showing up on so much of our stuff lately. Maybe you talking it's about just, Berido or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, or no. No, no, no. It's not uh, Rain Berido, but there's another person. I think he shows up at uh, XO Man of War uh, on our fourth episode. But he came up on like a couple different uh, Things I Read episodes. Yeah. And it's like a clusterfuck of a name. Let me see if I can... Find no, it. the Jelena Kevick Jerdevic. Is that maybe not that one? I don't know. But it's like maybe it wasn't that one. I, don't I know. didn't see any crossovers from what all we have. Maybe it was on Venom. Maybe no, it was on Deathstroke. Um, Bellard Bellardino Brabo. Okay, but you've been seeing him around too. Yeah, but uh, he was on a couple of things I read. Oh, nice. Uh, and the name fucks me every now, time. Now, Ralph Macchio. Yeah. Is that the Ralph Macchio from uh, Karate Kid? I don't know. I didn't look it up because I, I really didn't, <laughs> didn't think about looking it up. But no. uh, I was never a big Karate Kid guy, though. I mean, it was all right. But I just know the name Ralph Macchio. Yeah. Um, but... Either way, we digress. Uh, so, again, this comic actually came out in 1988, so it's more of a collection that was rebuilt. Yeah, I don't. I think it was all Daredevil, though. Or, like, it was all the same run. I don't know if it just wasn't in a certain order. Or anything I, like that, I mean, it, it didn't seem like they pulled from different things or no. other stuff happened in between. The only thing that seemed, like, random and out of place was the Electra uh, issue. But that I, was weird. But I figured it was more of a uh, just setting something up down the line, though. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Did you realize how much of the Netflix show was based off of that? Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. I like knew that, it was, that was like it pulled it straight. From I knew the pages. it was based off of this story arc, but I didn't realize it was like it. This it is. Uh, the only thing different from this and the Netflix was uh the girl. Um, the young girl. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't even... Did I even write her Piper? name down? No, it's oh, not no. Piper. 
the young girl. Oh no, because the, the, um, the, the fourteen-year-old girl, the one that he's boxing with, and the yeah, and saved her from like sex trafficking or whatever. Yeah, they did a version of that. Um, it might have been in a different season though. No, I think it was season one because it was the famous like hallway fight where he went and got that oh, little kid out that's of the right. Oh god, sex that trafficking hallway. thing. That one shot, each season unedited. had one, and it was yeah. Oh god, his his like all right, he's a badass. Yeah, like. Down the hall, 15 guys, and the camera never stops. Mm. No cut scenes. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Um, but And I read I, this, and I'm like, and then, of course, I've seen the TV show, and I'm like, how is Daredevil not like, maybe it's just because um, I grew up in the time of the MCU, and all the Avengers and stuff got pushed so hard. Right. But I'm like, how did he leave Daredevil out? Like, he should yeah. not be like a second tier hero. Well, you've got Daredevil, uh, Luke Cage, um, yeah. Iron Fist, and um, the girl that they made uh, the Netflix Jessica show. Jones. Jessica Jones. Yeah. You've got the four of them that are really damn good characters. Yeah. But I guess since they don't have superpowers, yeah. they've got powers, but it's they've, not like superpowers. They get left. Glaring weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. They get left behind. And shit, man. It's kind of like Spider Man to me is. Yeah. They're more down to earth, more mm. relatable characters that I. Spider Man's in that nice, uh, sweet zone though, where he can be, um, he could be up there with the Avengers and be the key person that saves the day, right? And or he could just be fighting street level crime yeah. like Daredevil and all that. That's true. That is true. But, but again, I mean, this is uh, this is Daredevil's pretty much. In, I mean, I would say his introduction story. Oh yeah, it's his um, what do they call it? Why didn't origin story? Origin story, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't think it was his original origin story or origin really? story. I think Frank Miller redid it and turned Daredevil into the badass we know now. I mean, shit, man, he's still a badass yeah. even in this. Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah, that's my. This is what made him. Oh, a you think this yeah. was his re recreation? Yeah, I think oh. Frank Miller just went there and redid his origin story. Wow, I could be yeah. wrong though, but um, or at least he came up with the whole. Being trained by stick and the foot and all that. Yeah, I like that. Um, again, this was this is the setup. To the everything. foot is Ninja Turtles. The yeah, hand was, is Daredevil. Yeah, the hand. They're so uh, Ninja Turtles was based off of this. So. so, but yeah, this was so. This is really a setup story to pretty much his the rest of his world. Yeah, um, the rest of his run. So Frank Miller's run. Yeah, so you don't get a whole lot of. Outside. I would say this is like the first, outside of Electra, because obviously that was season two. But like this is the first half of season one of oh, yeah. the Daredevil yeah. Netflix show. Um, again, Kingpin is probably one of my favorite low level criminals mm-hmm. villains. Um, uh, he's always fucking with Spider Man, fucks with yeah. the these guys, and he's just a freaking brute. Just, oh yeah, just a a, a maniacal dictator that just oh yeah. I, I love, I love him. I mean, he's he's great. I think he's like the mayor in like mainstream and like the like now in Earth comics? Prime and comics right now. Shit, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, they talk they talk about in here how um, yeah, because I've read Dare I picked up Daredevil for things I read, and uh, I guess Daredevil did something, and now he's about to go to jail, and Fisk was like having to run things. He's having to run it from the shadows because he's the mayor now. Wow. I mean, you could see it in this. Mm. I mean, once he, how'd you how'd you like how he became kingpin, or, or like how he became the leader? It was awesome. He, uh, God, now you can tell I read it like two weeks ago. But uh, <laughs> basically, someone said something, and he didn't like it, and he just like crushed his skull. Well, no, nah, he, um, the guy that was leading the group, uh-huh. the uh, there was. New groups of kids and all that are peddling hard drugs, like oh yeah, like oh uh, that's what it was, uh, yeah, meth and cocaine. The, the guy like, before him was like, we don't sell drugs to kids and we don't do yeah, stuff. Like, we don't we don't we kill don't cross, kids. We don't we don't cross these kids, certain yeah. lines. And Kingpin was like, fuck you, fuck that, and killed him and took over. And now is there He's are like, no lines. Uh, I mean, when Daredevil shuts down that operation, they say it cost him billions. Yeah. In that one operation that he mm-hmm. took down. And that was, I'm sure, very low level. Yeah. But but just that one operation was billions. I mean, that's mm-hmm. just. Uh, You're not even drinking this No, episode. man, dude. I got fucking indigestion like hell today for some reason. Probably because you ate a chicken parm sandwich. Yeah, that too. It was a chicken parm. What was it? Huh? Oh, it was chicken parm? Yeah, it was chicken oh, parm. Yeah. 
Italian food will do that to you. Yeah. But uh, but what else do you like? I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, the only way to go through this would be like kind of go step by step through it, or we kind of just hit the high points. Or I was just talking about stuff I like. Um, like I said, the Electra was just kind of. I don't know if it was just this collection or if it's the order it went in, but it was kind of like out of place. Like she just kind of had, kind of had yeah. her one episode introducing that. And I guess they talked about it. Um, and like, I guess stick was talking to those other people that were like on his side or whatever. And yeah. He, yep. he said, you've already had one turn bad. Like don't push right. this one away. Cause, uh, cause when he's being put, when stick leaves him, yeah. uh, Matt Murdoch, AKA daredevil was going to avenge his father's death. Yeah. Because his father got roped into the mob at the time mm -hmm. and was kind of their enforcer. Yeah. And uh, went through a fight, a boxing fight. Mm -hmm. And then the mob killed him. So Daredevil freaks out, yeah. goes after those guys, mm -hmm. kills. Yeah, kills one of them. Uh, gives one of them a heart attack. Yeah. And it really fucks up the others, whether they kill him or not. Mm -hmm. And then. That's when he was saving that uh, 14 year old or that little girl. When? Because remember. No, no, no. He gives the heart attack to the boss that that oh, gave the hit yeah, on his yeah, dad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the uh, he goes and shows up to the driver and launches a hooker out the window on accident. Uh, yeah. He swings back, oh, and, she, and yeah, she gets yeah. thrown off, and he gets launched through the window. Yeah, and that kind of fucked with him yeah. psychologically. And that's when Stick leaves him and mm -hmm. just kind of is like, yeah, you, you've crossed the line that I yeah. never taught you and yeah. freaks out. Yeah. Um, the electric character in here, though, was what I didn't get was the time. How jumps. about uh, they drawing her like that? And, Holy shit! And uh, well, I was sitting there. I, like, well, obviously, we know now that uh, Frank Miller is not for kids. But oh, back yeah. in the day, no one gave no one no looked one at your kids' comic books. <laughs> well, I was sitting there. I was like, damn, they they drew her very scantily clad yeah. in, the, in the hookers and all. Yeah. And then Matt Murdock in a thong and package yeah. just sitting there. I'm like, oh, okay, so they went. Both ways with it. Yeah. It was like, they, they didn't give two shits. No. Um, but no, man, uh, it was really cool. And something we had a critique on with uh, Teen Titans a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah. There was... Amazing what eight years old. <laughs> yeah. Like, like it, it, it was still narrated by a third party, which was still yeah, weird. Yeah, not a fan. Of but uh, it wasn't text after text after no. text. It was, it was still at least broken up mm -hmm. enough yeah. that it was... Float a he lot didn't feel the need of every panel having a text box. Yeah. yeah. Still didn't care for the third person narration because mm -hmm. it, sometimes it jumped back and forth. Sometimes it was Matt Murdoch yeah. talking and then yeah, like that the was... next, then like the next text box narration was. And they didn't like shade them all that differently uh -uh. either. But... Mm -hmm. but no, I'm a big fan of the story though. Um, whole Kingpin. I guess I never realized. I imagine it leads directly into volume two or whatever goes next. I don't know, but I, it either goes into a volume two or it just kind of, he breaks off and goes every now and then. Cause yeah, I don't know. Um, the ending didn't really. No, cause it's, he shut down that one operation and, it, and then the yeah. ending is Kingpin saying, I think we have a problem on our hands or something like that. That's Basically right. something right. menacing leading into the next uh, issue. Yeah. But. Um, the how do you feel about the Catholic overtones uh, and stuff like that? I see he mentioned that at one time about being very, raised very Catholic. Yeah, but did I can't remember. I know in the show that it was like a big theme of like the Catholicism. Well, yeah, because his father was very religious yeah. and well, always it wasn't was trying that to bad, repent uh, for his sins and everything. It wasn't that bad during this book, though. I don't think. Just other than not like the that, one, not that it was bad, but no, like, it wasn't over done. Just shoved down your throat. Yeah. Um, no, the, the only time I really noticed it was uh, when he just says, "My father raised me Catholic, very yeah. Catholic," and uh, I was in a Catholic school and the bullies, and then the uh, uh, what I got from it was like his father was always trying to repent, like always trying to repent. Yeah, for he what was he did. Um, big time, like do as I say, not as I do type yeah. stuff. And, like, you got to go to school because you don't want to end up like me. Now, did, did you know he went to, what was he went to Harvard, Harvard, didn't he? He was top not of his know, class in Harvard, not Harvard Law. He went to Harvard. Um, I, would, I do wish there was uh, some more Foggy in this. I, I like yeah, his character a they, lot. They set the up Foggy, um, but 
I figure he's going to be a big part because they quit working for who they were working for. Yeah. Uh, Matt was working for somebody in Chicago, some big law firm that yeah. did like, like business law, like mm-hmm. like billion dollar companies. Foggy was working for a little more local, for the people. Yeah. Uh, and then they both quit their jobs so they could create their own law firm. Yeah. Um, I liked how they came up with the name. You know, it's always the argument: all right, whose name comes first? Um, when they're sitting at the diner, oh, Foggy flips Murdoch, a coin. Yeah. And uh, Stick catches it. Uh, he says, uh, it came up tails. I guess your luck's not always as good as you think it is to Matt yeah. as he walks by. I was like, ooh. And that was, pretty, that was almost yeah. the end of the comic, too. Yeah. So it was kind of, it, it, it left with some, some very overarching ideas of what, that there's something to come. And yeah, there's, it was, I don't know how, obviously, you have set up issues. This is almost like a whole set up volume or like a whole setup graphic novel yeah but yeah. i mean this is probably the most like iconic daredevil run oh yeah um i mean other than the shows i didn't even know daredevil until the shows happened there wasn't really anything about daredevil other than he'd you show don't up remember every the uh, ben affleck movie in the early two thousands, I, I did uh, that. not very good. I tried not to remember anything before the MCU. <laughs> so, <laughs> other than X Men and uh, the original Fantastic Four, that's about all that. Not even Sam Raimi, Spider Man. Uh, that is true. Tobey Maguire. That is true. That is yeah. true. I do forget those. Yeah. Either way, I tried not to remember too many <laughs> before the MCU. I mean, the only ones that were really bad were like you had the Daredevil, second Fantastic Four, Punisher. Daredevil. Punisher movie, well, some of them were okay. Blade was good, or at least like the first two. Yeah, were. yeah. Um, Green Lantern was bad. That was just the first Hulk was all, was not good. No. Well, we've been on a run since Iron Man, so I don't know. Well, that's true. We but, haven't had to worry about a whole lot since no. the MCU started running. until DC started making movies, <laughs> and then you start having shit shows again. Yeah. Uh, um, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, but I think we did cover everything about this book. I mean, it, um, yeah, eighteen minutes in. So. Uh, it's it just kind of is what it is. It's comic. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's a lot of setup, and we, me, and you run through setup real fast. So, um, so, but I mean, I mean he they did have that one like action scene where he did go shut, uh, shut down that operation, and the action was amazing in this book. Yeah, that's what's about to talk about is. When you when I was thinking of eighties comics, I think we've done this is our third one. Uh, First yeah. one was, or one of them was to Teen Titans, um, and then uh, Craven, Craven, and both were more of the uh, boom pal, you know, right? Seem emotion, but this no, like like different. all it is is like a freeze frame. Yeah. This one it seemed like he actually flipping, yeah, f- screen shot to shot, the acrobatic and stuff, and um, definitely much better. Um, <laughs> than the other 80s comics that we've read. Yeah. Uh, out of the three, this is my favorite 80s comic. Oh, yeah. Uh, it I mean, seemed to fit. At some point, to do, I think, Frank Miller again, uh, Dark Knight Returns. Can do that. I, ain't gonna that. I don't know when. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, it, everything in this 80s comic, it, you could have taken it, spruced up the colors a little bit, mm. handed it to somebody now, and they'd be like, oh, this is really good. It's come out in the 90s, oh, mid yeah. late 90s. Yeah. Uh, where the other two were, ooh, yeah, those are, ooh, those are old. And um, do you look at, um, we did the collected version that is free on uh, Comixology. Comixology. Yeah. Did you look at all the back stuff? That was really cool. Oh, all the, I, I like kind of, scripts were kind of, I kind of thumbed through I everything. I thought the scripts but... were really cool, but if I was the artist, like, he didn't label, uh, like, panel one, panel two, page two. No, it was I just was paragraphs. Like, what are you doing? Bro? It was just paragraphs. It looked like an actual, like, movie script that you yeah. just, like he just typed everything out, handed it over, and the artist and panel and all Which, were just I mean, kind of like have fun. He's giving the artist uh, a little more leeway. But yeah, I've uh, they have those things called master classes or whatever. Yep. yep. Um, and Neil Gaiman, who wrote Ooh. Sandman, did one, and Ooh. he did a whole episode on uh, or like a whole class on comic books, and he showed his technique for writing comic book scripts. That's pretty cool. And he's like, panel one, this is happening. This yeah. is the uh. Like words that need to be typed okay. out and shit like that. Right. So when I looked at that and I was like, "He doesn't even like tell you where to put yeah. what." Like, what the hell are we doing? And that might be why there's so much uh, narration in it. 
is that That's true. when the pencil and all is sitting there going, all right, I guess I got to pick this. I'll yeah. just put it over here in the corner. Yeah. And I don't know. And then like all the variant covers were really cool. Oh yeah. That was all cool. Uh, mm-hmm. The one thing I, that kind of got me about this book was we only get to see his outfit once. Yeah, but we only get to see. But again, it it's a world set TV up, show. and well, yeah, that's the right. Netflix show you didn't see it until like the very last episode. That is true. Um, so it was really cool. Um, yeah. Daredevil, cool guy. Mm-hmm. Netflix really. No, what I thought was weird. Um, in this book, they used to make fun of him by calling him Daredevil. I and it was they said it was like a thing like. I guess they were trying to sell a fight between his dad and somebody else. Yeah. And he was the daredevil. And no, he was the like, devil. Or, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't get the dare part. And I was like, I don't, maybe it's because I grew up in a world where the daredevil uh, superhero yeah. was a thing. If someone called me a daredevil, I was like, okay, like that's uh, not yeah. embarrassing. <laughs> it's like a daredevil for us growing up was, oh, this kid takes like, risk. He's going to jump Knievel. off the bu- building yeah. or into a pool off a building or something, not. Yeah, I was like a what? kid that's getting bullied every day. Yeah, I was like, yeah. "What the hell's wrong with you, man?" <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. but uh, no, it was really good. Uh, obviously, like I said, one of the most legendary runs on Daredevil ever. Yeah, um, so damn good. They for turned whatever it to reason, a, to you're listening comic. to this and you didn't read it, go check it out. Yeah, um, you should know by now what we what we're about. So, yeah. um, but next week we got Deathstroke. Woohoo! Episode twenty eight. Awesome character. Not gonna say I'm a fan of the one we chose. Well, but it'll be a, in a, an interesting discussion. Yeah, there'll be some some debates about it. Oh, Hope we'll you'll join us. Save that for next week. Yeah, and uh, I guess we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.